Eddie will make a case as to why this oversaturation in podcasting does not benefit the consumer and content creators alike. That's about 43 million episodes that podcast listeners can listen to. Now, a lot of them really don't have any schooling on the subject, no education. They can just be at home and create one. Uh, everything is on demand. That's the most positive thing about it whenever you need them. Stephen will make the case for why entertainers should embrace the fact that many in society view them as role models. Yes, it's oversaturated. When we listen to a podcast, gentlemen, we are seeking one of two things. We're seeking information or wanting to be entertained. As I was growing up, information came from three news channels, right? Uh, two local newspapers. Uh, combine that with a small circle of important people in my life. My mom, my father figures, my brothers, my sisters, my aunts and uncles, etc. Throw in the teachers, throw in the pastors, even close friends. That was our circle. Most importantly, most of these interactions could touch you and they can see you. Well, I think the easiest answer to all of this is, in terms of entertainers and by entertainers, Todd, what I'm going to define it as is basically actors is one category, actors, actresses. Mm -hmm. Uh, singers, musicians, and also professional athletes. These seem to be the entertainers that society kind of gloms on as role models, if, if, if you would. And what I would say in terms of the, the entertainers, uh, embracing the fact that they're considered role models, the easy answer is they might as well. Now with the advent of technology, others can waltz into your site or your eardrums. And do you know do you have enough time? Because kind of as Avi said, it's the way of the world. It's kind of, if you don't do that, you're kind of like the guy going out to the ocean when it's high tide and saying, wait, stop. We don't want the water now. Just give us a little time. Give us, no, that's crazy. Mental health is huge. Just if, if you haven't tried it, at least try therapy. Self, you know, if you want to talk about your sexual orientation, you want to talk about your sexual preferences, these are things that should be normalized as a man in order to be able to talk about. Is it good or is it bad? Well, see, that's the challenge. Let's get real. Average life expectancy in this country or in the world, pretty much 79 years old. That's over 600,000 hours that we get. So if you want to break it down in a week, gentlemen, 168 hours in a week, 40 of those go towards work, 128 less. This is go ahead. Okay, this is how out of it Superman is. He mm -hmm. works at a newspaper, the Daily Planet. Newspapers are done, man. It's all digital now. He ain't You're gonna right. be in Lois Lane anymore. He ain't going to be seeing Perry White anymore. They're going to be selling that Daily Planet building to some other, to some other thing because newspapers are done. It's lead to, you know, mountains and mountains of depression and suicide and it just leads to a huge hole because we just simply can't slash don't want to talk about it. Your point that podcasts are bad for society when people control it by this this alarming just by quitting so please help me understand that. Guys Eddie has another minute and a half on top of the three minutes he has left to respond to Brian. Yeah, well, I look at it like this. I think we have a lot of immature people right now that's being led by a lot of different things. And unfortunately, Brian, we we lived in an era where news was kind of controlled. And it could have been a negative thing as well because we weren't informed of a lot of things that were going on. But I know for me, I was able to balance it more, more easily when it was controlled a little bit, when it wasn't a thousand newscasts. These are things that should be normalized as a man in order to be able to talk about. And I think talking about stuff like that makes you even more of a man in my eyes. So that's all I gotta say. The high tide's gonna come. You're not going to be able to overcome at least what technology has created in, in terms of this. And I wanna be clear, I am not making the case that entertainers should be role models. God, no. If anybody could hear the sound of my voice, I it's so hard being an entertainer. 
uh, performer, athlete, musician.